hello and welcome friends so in this video we are going to see an ionic application where we are going to have the chart with the uh, where the data is coming from the backend which is the sqlite database so if you see this student details page where uh, we can add delete or update the student data and in the below we are able to see some details already added so let me add one more here class as the fifth and marks as the 670 okay so it, it got added here and if i will go in the analytics i am able to see the amount is all is added here okay so in this video we are going to see this one like how to store the data in the backend and how to show the data uh, so those details in the chart format which is the required as per your requirement you can use any of them and uh, so this is this is the application which i'm go uh, i'm going to already like uh, this student details as the product operation is already done uh before that video link i will going to share in the description where you can check and you can implement this student crud operation and uh, in the analytics uh, this is the chart js already implemented but that was uh, you know, like with the static data which is the json data and currently it is the dynamic where the data is coming from the backend sqli database so let me go in the code part so now come to the coding part where we have done the coding uh, like uh, so if first you have to implement the student crud operation uh, that uh, application uh, which i have already uh, like uh, earlier show you so i will share that link in the description just go through once again uh, once with that and the one with the chart.js which is with the static json data where you will have the json data inside your asset directory input.json and this data we are going to we are fetching uh, from the this uh, uh, this ts file and where we are going to show that data in the chart.js so this one the static and here we are going to implement with this sqli database so if you have implemented that uh, student uh, data student uh, that crud operation then you will have this uh, database service uh, that uh, already is it will be there and the database service.ts so the important thing is database database service.ts let me uh, once go with that also so we will have the one interface as the student student id name class marks okay so i'm not going to deep in that uh, it is already implemented and already discussed in the that student crud operation uh, here we will have the this uh, student script.sql load student data and uh, add student data get student by id update student delete student is all functionality we have we already discussed in this uh, that uh, student crud operation if you go inside the pages part you will have two pages where one page is the students where we will have uh, let me go with that html part directly so inside that we will have one uh, this uh, form as the like uh, the student whatever the student to which we need to insert we will have this form and on click on this button uh, add student we are going to call the add student details function so what it is going to do this add student details function let me open this one so this is just going to add the student data in the back end like uh, calling this function at db dot add student data so what is the db db is my database service okay uh, where we have declared this one db as the that variable okay now html go once again so at the below of that we are just showing the student uh, all the student records here okay on click on that we are just going to call the student dot stud id uh, like uh, we are going to pass that router link to this page which one page this uh, individual student page if you see here that we are going to have this page and uh, this is a just form where uh, like uh, we will have already filled data and once we click on the update it will it is just going to update that uh, details and if you just go one up uh, we have we have called here also delete function so the icon is there as the trash and it is going to on click on that we are going to call the delete function So let me go inside the student page.ts file. So here we are going to call this delete function here directly, which is a uh, data like uh, 
this one uh, is the db service from we are getting this function from the db service so let me now let me go with the chart part so for doing the chart part you need to install the chart.js using npm install chart.js hyphen hyphen save so it will install the chart.js inside your uh, this project and uh, let me go with the app modulo.ts and these are the left thing which uh, which is modified so let me show you that also what things we have added here and what uh, you need to also take care inside here so we have the http client module sqlite sqlite porter which we need to add here and uh, inside the provider also we need to add the sqlite porter sqlite as well now come to the app component.ts file what we have done here so here just i have changed the icons as the analytics the students for uh, you can uh, icon as the people that is uh, inside that part the student grad operation video and modulo ts also that routing part on the student id we are going to uh, route the page on the student individual student page okay so we have done with the app model app component and app routing module.ts file okay now let me come with this one as we have created the side menu application so we will have the home page uh, that bar also so here the like things come place that chart.js part so before doing that you need to install this npm install chart.js hyphen hyphen save inside your command pro sorry now come to the home.html home.page.html so this entire code like entire html part has been copied from that chart.js which are uh, chart.js example i'm going to share that video link as well in in the description you just to go with that first try to implement like that student page that student crowd operation and this chart chart dot js with the combined one with the static data only and then try to with uh, try to do with the database part so the main like the html is not the major thing which is just uh, copied from that chart chart dot js file and if we come to the home page dot ts file this is the main file here so what we have done here we need to like uh, import the view child also from the angular core and this is a chart.js from the chart sorry this is the chart here we have imported from the chart.js database service we need here as to get, get the data student records from the that database sqli database and student uh, which is already defined inside the database service.ts let me show you that uh, interface we have the interface here as the student this one so we have just uh, uh, like uh, took the reference inside our home page dot ts file okay so this is uh, like view child uh, we have created these variables here bar color array donut chart we have to create the names and uh, marks as the array list and for uh, that color part uh, which is on like uh, click uh, on click and uh, on our this is for this is color edge for our our effect and this is the this color for to, to show the data so it depends on the opacity you will uh, you will see some uh, like uh, this is the light one and this is this will be some dark okay so this is the already defined you have to implement the logic like uh, based on the requirement uh, or you can uh, define some uh, color inside that and you can uh, take the random uh, like rgba to display your that uh, color part so as the database get ready uh, we are going to get all the student records uh, inside the students variable this is the students array and this is the student which we are getting from the that interface which is defined in database service.ts file and on each iteration of this student uh, we are going to push that uh, record inside my this one array like to create the chart we need to define this variable inside the array so we are going to pass this one by one inside the array i have commented this static data and uh, this is already there 
uh, this array is already defined there we don't need to uh, define it again then we are just calling the function this dot create bar chart donut chart and uh, line chart function so like uh, whatever the value we have inside this uh, dot names this dot uh, like this dot marks and color and color edge that all things we are going to see there so this part is already uh, like implemented inside the chart.js example you just need to go with that video also so that uh, you can get some more idea about this project so just after, after this you you you, you cannot uh, like do directly ionix uh, because these are the native uh, uh, like part so we need to run this application inside our mobile only so what you need to do you can directly you need to add the platform of the android inside your uh, this uh, application and after that you need you can say like ionic order run android to run on your device or you can directly build that apk by saying build android okay so after this uh, you it will create the apk directory apk file inside your uh, this uh, repository and after this uh, you can install that rep uh, that uh, apk inside your device and you can check that application is working properly or not so if you have any doubt any question then please put in the comment section i will definitely reply on that and uh, in case of any issue just let me know i will try to help you to end to end and uh, please subscribe to my channel friend thank you